Today, we are taking a look at some of the major features released with the digital sculpting and texturing software by Pigway. Of course, we are talking about 3D Coat, our sponsor for today's video. It has all the tools you need to create or enhance your 3D projects. And you can do this from the initial asset creation stage to delivering the final PBR or hand painted texture model, ready to import into game engines or major 3D applications for rendering and animation. You can also take advantage of Black Friday to Cyber Monday sales to get $100 off your order on 3D Code 2022, which is something I highly recommend because this is a good opportunity to do so. So now let me tell you about 3D Code. It offers advanced digital sculpting, modeling, retopology, UV editing, and PBR texture painting tools to help you take your art to the next level. So today we're gonna take a look at some of the newer features in 3D Code 2022. First of all, we have highly improved voxel and surface sculpting performance. 3D Code was always a powerful tool that can handle massive projects. One of its strong suits was always its stability and responsiveness to heavy scenes and models. In this version, the folks at Pilgway outdid themselves, and now 3D Code can handle a whopping 200 million triangles in a single scene for ultimate flexibility, which also means sculpting will be smoother and working with huge scenes or photo scan data will be as smooth and responsive as possible. Also, a few voxel sculpting brushes such as Grow, Fill and Smooth that have always been a bit sluggish with high resolution objects, even with CPU multi-threading, actually these voxel sculpting brushes were rewritten for using GPU acceleration, and this made a huge and very noticeable difference. Talking about high resolution models, Another really helpful feature that the team is expanded on is Auto Retopo. This time around, the Auto Retopo function has been further improved and reworked to yield even better results when dealing with organic and hard surface models, saving artists time and effort. This, in addition to an already powerful and continually expanding manual retopology and polymodeling toolset. Additionally, one of the most exciting features in the previous 2021 release was the Surface Mode Brush Engine which provided far more control and customization than what was previously available. This included modifiers that provide a variety of effects artists might want to add to their brushes, such as extrude, clay, pinch, relax, rotate, flatten, etc. Furthermore, you can even mix and stack the effects on top of each other. Also, what's new in 3D Code 2022 is the introduction of this control and customization in Voxane Sculpting as well. It incorporates much of the functionality of the Surface Brush Engine, except for a few modifiers, which remain exclusive to Surface Mode. There was always a significant gap between Voxel Mode and Surface Mode, in terms of brush control, feel, and performance. Voxels are typically the better option in early blocking stages of a sculpt, while Surface Mode was better suited for the intermediate and final stages. And this is still the case today, but the new Voxel Clay Brush Engine closes the gap considerably, so now you can easily continue the voxel sculpting work well into the detail stages of your project. It also shares the same refined brush feel, in addition to control and performance of surface mode. In fact, voxel mode is actually a hybrid sculpting platform, having the full range of surface brushes conveniently located just beneath the voxel brushes in the tool panel. As a user, you can simply choose whichever brush you prefer at any given moment, without needing to switch modes in the Sculpture Hierarchy panel. This offers an exceptional degree of flexibility and artistic freedom, which is fantastic. Some of the benefits of working with voxels is the inherent elimination of polygonal stretching while sculpting. This way, you will never see stretched polygons while working with voxels, I mean ever. This, in addition to having a really easy time when trying to create advanced operations such as punching a hole through the mesh or filling it. Boolean operations are also flexible, forgiving and faster when working with voxels. Although surface mode does have one trick up its sleeves in this regard, surface mode has the benefit of dynamic subdivision applied along the insertions or subtracted areas of a model when performing Boolean operations. This includes the cutoff tool, which is by nature a subtraction operation, which uses a marquee selection instead of an object. This produces razor sharp edges when desired with an option for smooth booleans. Also with this version, the team at Pilgway included a new office collection that helps you create complex surfaces a lot more easily. Things such as skin details, cracks, wrinkles, concrete, and much more. 
Speaking about detail, the 2022 version also introduces a handy feature called Color to Bump, which helps to capture small details in the process of photogrammetry. This in addition to a new, versatile and robust bevel tool in the Sculpt workspace. Also a new curve tool, new core API, improved shaders, the ability to explore GLTF format and much more. Furthermore, with this latest version, Pinkway introduced volumetric painting, which allows you to use painting tools directly inside the Sculpt workspace, including the ability to sculpt and paint simultaneously, and you can do this using surface sculpting brushes. Also, PPR Smart Materials can also be directly applied over voxel objects, with the ability to paint with the true volumetric depth, and this is a force in the CG industry, which is really cool. Another awesome feature in this 2022 version is the ability to automate the process of exporting multiple assets to Blender in addition to Unreal Engine without the need to perform manual retopology and UV mapping. The way you do that is first by creating the assets as separate sculpt object and working on them separately with either voxel paint or vertex paint in surface mode in addition to vertex texture on sculpt objects in surface mode in the fractures workspace and then you will export them all at once from the file menu in the Sculpt workspace. 3D code will decimate the mesh and do the UV mapping automatically during the export process. You can then build your scene with all the assets in Blender or Unreal. Additionally, in this version, 3D code is offering much more improved auto UV mapping, which allows you to streamline the process of UV mapping because, let's be honest, no one likes the tedious work of manual selection of seams and folding and then packing UV Allen, so basically it is boring, so this seems like a step in the right direction. Additionally, ACES Tone Mapping has been an added option for the viewport. It is a popular tone mapper in game engines, so the visual fidelity of viewport PBR rendering is now much more closer between them and 3D Code. And finally, 3D Code Textura comes with a huge free library of PBR materials. If you are interested in 3D code, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.